he's he's tripled his testosterone in three months just through practicing abstinence. <laughs> So here's an observation I've made in relation to modern man's predicament. Why is miserable? Why is experiencing all these negative emotions, these lower negative emotions, shame, apathy, guilt, depression, and you know all the neurotic tendencies that you can throw into there as well. You've got your stress as well. So in short, he's having PMS. Let me explain that in just a moment. It is the feminization, or, or should I say the estrogenization of uh, men, which is contributing to a substantial amount of the negative experience that we as men might be experiencing you know, day to day. Now, this follows a previous video I did on the notion of a hormone war. There is a war, gentlemen, against testosterone. It's estrogen versus testosterone. Unfortunately, the former is seeming to be prevailing at the moment because a lot of these socio-political issues that you're seeing at the moment, I really feel stem from just an imbalance of our biology, an imbalance of our hormonal profile and also it is the absence or shallow understanding of the influences testosterone have in our blood which you know if we understood is the solution to our problem and we would really be focusing a lot more due diligently on optimizing that hormonal profile so let me give it to you in this particular video the competition chemical now it's not really a chemical it's more a hormone but i kind of enjoyed the heading as it's grounded as as uh, you know what you and I as a man should really value out the experience of having higher testosterone. Look, beyond the surface level characteristics of testosterone, and we can talk about you know, increased muscle bulk, we can talk about deeper voice, we can talk about you know, all these kinds of things, but it is the predisposition for a competitive behavior which sets us apart from the opposite sex. This is the fundamental characteristics of testosterone that only a lesser evolved man overlooks. It is the divine variable that makes you and me a king. Okay, so let me dispense with the description for a moment for sake of a more factual and intellectual discussion. What am I saying? I'm saying that testosterone not only builds muscle, it not only burns fat and, you know, heightens masculine characteristics. Of course, of course, of course. But what I'm saying is that it also negates negative emotion it negates the feelings of apathy of shame of guilt that many of us experience on a day-to-day -day basis and it also increases how compelling you find competitive behavior guys what i mean is that an individual that is experiencing high testosterone experiences pleasure in competitive tasks building businesses lifting heavy weights practicing martial arts getting up early in the cold hours of the morning to go for a 5k run, approaching beautiful women. All these tasks have an element of competition. And like I say, the reason that a lot of you might look at those particular habits and think, yes, I want to do that kind of shit every single day. And the reason you're experiencing resistance or a lack of consistency into integrating them into your lifestyle isn't because you're lazy or isn't because you're unmotivated. It is because your testosterone is low. So instead of trying to develop discipline and consistency, which again, I'm not against, it has, it has a fundamental role in the actualization of your higher self, it's gonna be so much easier to integrate that kind of, those kind of characteristics into your lifestyle if biology is on your side. Let's talk about tripling testosterone through SR. So here's what a lot of you wanna know. You wanna know what are the effects of semen retention on, on testosterone? And the answer is a significant one. A significant effect happens on your testosterone profile when you stop jerking off, when you stop releasing your semen needlessly, when you stop living a promiscuous lifestyle. So recently somebody forwarded me a very interesting case study. The case study was predicated on the effects of free based testosterone levels on an individual that would abstain from ejaculation for 300 days with the lab results. And I'm going to show you those results right now. So guys, what I'm gonna do, because I wanna give all credit to the creator here, is I'm gonna link the, uh, the I'm going to link the link, the link, the story in the description below. Please go and watch, uh, read it for yourself. But, you know, if you'd like me to read it, I'm going to do that here. That's what you all came here for. So this individual thought he would go ahead and post his testosterone blood drawn results from um, his last streak, which lasted about 302 days. He's gone from masturbating once every four days on average for the last 15 years straight to going without any porn no masturbation, no sex. He also remarks that he was single throughout this period. Now, you know, he, he kind of mentioned here by, by happenstance that he um, found 
that he did a, a free base testosterone um, uh, lab result test prior to learning about semen retention. He stumbled onto some of my content, some other people's content and the notion of semen retention and the practice. And he just thought, you know, why don't I do a why don't I do like a little experiment on myself and see what happens to my free base testosterone. So he's already had the lab results of when he was in that kind of degenerate lifestyle. And then he's done a free base lab result every single month uh, into that 300 day streak. So what he's done is he's got the results right here. So you can kind of see on my screen, this, uh, this is the lab test taken in August, two months before the beginning of a streak. The, this first free-based testosterone test he's ever taken, and as you can see, he's barely above the normal range established by the algorithm for men his age, and he's 28 at 68 PGML. And PGML just stands for picograms per milliliter. So 68 picograms per milliliter. And like he's mentioned, that's just, just above low on this particular uh, company. So now this individual is gone, um, he's taken another test and this was during No Nut November, which is the first month of his streak. And he's climbed up, you know, substantial, substantial uh, markers, you know, he's gone from 68 to 114 and he's right in the middle, what we consider normal. Now here's where things get interesting, ladies and gentlemen, or gentlemen, <laughs> there are any ladies in here. Um, so these lab results are from December and this was around the second month into his streak and as you can see, he's now above the upper range of normal for men his age. So 212, gone from 68 to 212 in two months. And then we've got next month, third month, January 2022, slightly higher than uh, previous month at 226. And I believe that's actually the peak results he's got here. So he's he's gone from, you know, if we wanna do it properly, let's say three months, he's gone from 68 picograms per milliliter to 212, 212. So he's, he's, he's tripled his testosterone in three months just through practicing abstinence. He does go on to include uh, more results. You can see here, um, yeah, we've got 226. And then uh, February, he's gone down a little bit, 171, still you know pretty high, still pretty high. And then he's gone back 197 next month. Uh, he's gone back down to 179 in April. He's gone back up to 201. And of course, there's gonna be fluctuations depending on lifestyle and other characteristics that we just can't control, of course. And then he does have quite a significant dip in July, but he, he did notice, he did note here. So eighth month of his streak, uh, but he did take a break from weightlifting. So he, he wasn't lifting weights in this month which you know is also credence to the fact that you have to transmute that sexual energy you have to be lifting weights you have to be exercising because you know, that's made a significant difference still significantly higher than when he was uh, masturbating you know you know he's, he's he's still doubled his testosterone with the integration of abstinence um into his life without lifting weights which is hugely hugely significant so i just want to say very quickly thank you so much to this creator this individual is called um, an, a new house, probably butchered that, but please go and read it for yourself as a very interesting study. I think it's more credence to the fact that, you know, many people are skeptical about doing this journey. Will it increase my testosterone? Will I get the results you want? So There's a big sacrifice money, maybe some of you have to make, but, you know, I think whenever porn's concerned, it, you know, there's, there isn't really much of a sacrifice to make. Now let's talk about just the benefits of being masculine. Now, semen retention benefits seem to be conflated with some kind of esoteric idea of getting closer to God. And I do believe there is a lot of rationality towards that claim. But I think a lot of you should, you know, a lot of you who are rationally minded, who believe in science, who believe in the literature, who believe in evidence, should take what I've just shown you so, so seriously. Um, if an individual's testosterone levels are doubling and tripling just through abstinence, we should be taking notice of that. Those are significant results and i think it might be you know i think it might be more accurate to say that the results or the benefits of semen retention aren't attributed to this esoteric idea but i do believe there is a narrative there but more to the fact that you're increasing your testosterone levels and with that like i mentioned higher quality emotions you know less apathy less guilt less shame less depression more joy more courage more peace more enlightenment 
and then you're starting to increase your competitive behavior from some of those habits that you want to want integrated into your lifestyle, which we're all seeking to do. So it's more accurate to say it's testosterone benefits. It's benefits of being a masculine man, of course. So guys, I really believe that this is the most compelling evidence that we've come across in our community so far. Go and give some love to the creator and go share it with other people and certainly go and uh, practice what this guy's preaching. Um, you know, I know perhaps this community gets a lot of stick for being anecdotal of sharing individuals own experiences of the benefits that they get. And it's hard to relate. It's hard to see concrete, objective evidence. There's your concrete, objective evidence right there. Go and practice it and go and become and repair and heal your hormone profile and become the divine masculine man that you were always meant to be. So if you enjoyed this video, my friends, uh, you can subscribe to me and I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Take care.